Hi, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about program design. And I'm actually really good at program design, it's my best thing. We're going to talk about this in relation to movies, but right now this is just going to be like a general context overview of program design by day of the week. So there's all this stuff you got to think about when you're thinking about program design. The number one thing is, how many days a week are you actually going to get to train? It would be ideal if you could train six days a week. Do you ever get six days a week? Sometimes, very rarely, you actually get that. But so your program has to be able to float up and down between different things but still accomplish the same task. This is the, the engineering equation parts of the whole thing. So let's start about talking about training two days a week. When you train two days a week, you kind of get what we call program A. Program A. Program A, if you have seven days in your week and you're only actually going to get to see somebody two days a week, you're going to put A on two non-consecutive days. That's kind of the only thing that matters is two non-consecutive days and the fact that the program focuses on one central theme. So your program A is probably going to be focused on your general physical preparedness program. It's going to have to be really controlled. It's not going to be very sexy because you have an absolute minimum amount of time. Having a minimum amount of time means that everything has to be very particular and very controlled in order to get good outcomes. The better way to do it is to have three days a week. Three days a week you're going to have a program A and you're obviously going to have a program B. Same thing, now you can put your A and your A on two non-consecutive days and anywhere in the middle you're going to be able to throw in a B. But this is going to allow you to shift your A, B to probably like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday kind of situation. But if you don't get this perfect Monday, Wednesday, Friday situation, it's not going to matter. The problem with dealing with actors and training for movies is that you almost never get ideal situations because you're not the most important part of the equation. You have all the other things that have to happen that an actor is responsible for on a movie. They have to go to script things, they have to go to wardrobe fittings, they got all this stuff and all that, those pieces are constantly moving around in some horrible Tetris-like thing that is being controlled by a bunch of different departments and they're all vying for this time at different points in different times and they all change their level of importance every day based on what is the most important thing that day. So the point of having an AB program is that these things can shift around. And you could suddenly stack two days directly on top of each other, or you can have, and it can move around. This is a pretty good situation. It's still not a great situation, simply because it's gonna be very hard for you to get all the things you need done. You're gonna to have to have more weeks of prep time or of training if you're gonna to wanna to make this work out very well. Also something you're not gonna be able to control. The next thing is the four day a week plan, which suddenly becomes A, B, A, B. And that becomes A, B, A, B. Two days at the beginning of the week, two days at the end of the week. The ideal way to do it is to have the two day rest at the end and the one day rest in the middle. Now you're really starting to get somewhere with your program because you're gonna be able to get a lot of stuff accomplished more quickly. And this is what happens a lot. You're either gonna lose a Friday or you're gonna lose a Monday but then you're gonna be able to smash your AB into a four day cycle. AB, AB with a three day rest period. So now you're gonna be able to push pretty hard because you have a long rest period at the end of this cycle. That's a little bit rough, but you can make that work. That's a pretty good program. When we get to a five day plan, when we actually have a fairly good amount of control over what we're doing here, now we're going to have an ABC plan. And now your ABC plan is going to be week one, A, B, C, A, B. And then your next week is going to be C, A, B, C, A. And your week after that is going to be B, C, A, B, C. Now you're crushing it, right? Now your program design is going to move forward pretty quickly because you can focus on three different ideas and they're actually going to be progressing every week. You're gonna get two Bs, two Cs, and one A. You're always getting two of something, two of another thing, and one single of the other one. So this program then works really well. But the problem 
you're going to lose a day somewhere in here. And suddenly, this Monday drops out, something you can't control, something that another department does that eats up that time. Now, the program continues on. B, C, A, B. This whole program then starts to cycle and shift pretty rapidly, but you're still going to be getting in a lot of different work at different periods of time. It's gonna work very well. Suddenly you get to shove that fifth day out here maybe on a weekend. And so that became a three day rest and then you'll have a two day rest and it. That program works pretty well. So this is a way that you, when you think about long-term program design, this is one of the things that is always running through my head. This is the way that I run programming a lot uh, on movies because ideally you could get six days a week, one week, you could get four days a week, another week, and that thing will do a rolling shifting pattern. And that'll keep people moving pretty well. And because it's not just hammering the exact same movements every day, each one of these programs is own complete separate thing, which is gonna be very complicated. And we'll talk about all that stuff later and what has to be in there. But this idea works pretty well. A, B, C programs. All those programs are different. They're all gonna focus on different things. They're all gonna emphasize different attributes over time. And that's what we want. So if you're gonna take this idea and you're going to apply it to a lay person, a non-professional athlete or somebody at home, this program design is still ideal because you're gonna have things that push your schedule around that are outside of your control. So when you think about movie training, think about it almost like lay person training. Injury is unacceptable. Your schedule is probably not in your absolute control. There are other factors that are going to be pushing on this program, life. And all that life stuff is going to change the outcome of the program. When we're doing this program design, we wanna make sure that this program design can absorb the, what shall the word be? The guarantees of life or schedule. Mispronouncing words is kind of my thing. This is information that is very specific for trainers or anybody who's really a super nerd who really wants to understand how to get the most out of training at any one time. When you're thinking about training actors for movies, think about there is the absolute no wasted time allowed because a product has to be guaranteed and it has to come out in the allotted time frame. This has been Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica talking about programming two days a week, yay program. Three days a week, AB program. Four days a week, still an AB program. Five days a week, ABC program. All those programs are slightly different things, and we'll talk about that type of program design in another video. This has been Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica.